Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Hayden, your favorite Spokane realtor and excited to bring you another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about what is going on in the housing market. I've been getting a lot of people asking me specifically what is going on because they hear so many things on the news. They hear conflicting things from their friends that are currently buying a home or a realtor in their life, anything like that. We're gonna be looking at things a little bit differently today. We're gonna to be really focusing on inventory, new construction, builder concessions, and multiple offer situations. If you're thinking about buying or selling it here in the Spokane area anytime soon, all of these things will affect you. If you are in that boat, I would love to be your guide whether you're moving to Spokane or you already live here and you're just looking to buy or sell, I'd love to help you out with that. My information is down in the description or you can schedule an appointment directly on my calendar with the Calendly link down below. Let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing I wanna go over is the current inventory for retail and new construction. So right here we have the Spokane MLS and currently active listings, single family and condos, the things that you would purchase and live in, uh, we have currently 752 homes sitting on the market. So this video is being recorded in the first week of March. March, and so that number is uh, is up from the active inventory in February of 2023. Overall, over the last six months or so, we've actually seen a dramatic drop in the number of active inventory on the market. So I think that is contrary. People believe that there is a ton of inventory available, and there was, and there still is, compared to the last few years. Our peak was in August and September, right as interest rates had just started to increase quite rapidly, but sellers were very confident in the market and they were just catching the falling knife type of thing listing their properties right as the market was about to go down. Now, I like to look at things from a historical perspective. What is the normal? Because the last three years have definitely not been normal. And so let's see what goes on in a regular year. So to see where we're at compared to years prior, we're checking out closed sales. And so in the last month in February, we had 305 homes sell, which was one of the lowest months in about the last 10 years. Now, as you can see, and in many of these graphs, Spokane is an incredibly cyclical market. And so in the winter, there's always less home sales, but to kind of show you a, a better, bigger picture, we're gonna switch this over to every quarter, quarter one, two, three, four. And you can see much less jagged graphs as there's less points, but uh, quarter one is generally the lowest point in every year. All of these low points are quarter one. Now quarter one hasn't quite finished yet for 2023, but let, we can try and predict what is going to happen. So starting back at quarter three of 2022, that was about 40% below years prior. All of these peaks are quarter three right here. And we didn't actually peak in quarter three as we normally would. This was quarter two. Quarter three should have been up here where my mouse is circling, but it actually dipped quite a bit. And then we saw our normal quarter four decline. Now, the next thing you'll notice is that quarter four was rel is relatively the same point as it has as quarter one has been for the last 10 plus years. And so I think that this number of closed sales, the number of buyers and sellers that made a mutual agreement and closed on that property is going to be even lower. And we can see that by looking at the monthly view because we know what has actually happened for the first two months of 20, 2023 so far. In January, we had 318 homes sell and in February, we had 305, so just slightly over 600. So even if we see more homes sell in March, we're still gonna be sitting at like maybe 1,100 homes, and which would be probably one of the lowest quarters that we've seen in about the last 10 years. Now, many of you wanna know, will there be more new inventory, new being the primary word there, when you start buying in quarter two, quarter three of this year? And so let's check out new listings and where they're projected to go uh, so far. So again, even though it kind of sounds like there's a lot of inventory on the market, which over the last th compared to the last three years, there is, historically, there are fewer sellers putting their home on the market than any year in the last 10. Now, a trend that we see often is that quarter four has the least homes listed every single year. As you can see, all these bottoms generally are quarter four. And so that was true for, hopefully, is true for 2022 into the 2023 year as well. But the number of homes that hit the market were far below the average quarter four that happened. So there were less properties that came on the market. So now going back to the month view, see if we can kind of figure out what is happening so far this year. Uh, December was the lowest point. We saw an uptick in uh, January and a slight decline in February so far. So even if we get about 
uh, let's say 1,600 homes hitting the market, that would make us far below any quarter one that we've seen in the last 10 years. So active inventory, the listings that are coming on the market are actually at an all-time low, which is affecting how many homes people can choose from. Now, because there are less homes hitting the market and actually less to choose from than even in the last three years, there's it's actually creating multiple offer situations, and I'm gonna show you a couple examples. So jumping over to my website here, this property at 904 West Cleveland was actually a property that I listed uh, two weeks ago now. Uh, it got four offers within three days, all of them above the asking price, and two of them way their inspection entirely and the top one actually waived their appraisal and so homes like this that are well priced for the neighborhood have great pictures and present really well because this is in the Monroe district really cute neighborhood that is really attractive for a lot of first-time home buyers but this neighborhood generally has homes that are 1940 and older this home was built in the 1990s so it was really attractive for a new buyer so homes that are marketed well priced well are flying off the shelves and getting sellers terms that are really attractive there are many first-time home buyers where a couple years ago with the interest rates they would have been shopping at 500,000 but now 340 is where their price range is at because interest rates have more than doubled. A $500,000 home would have had the same mortgage that this does a year and a half ago. And then another property I want to take a look at is this duplex that was in the Spokane Valley. It was listed at 430,000 and I had some buyers that were highly interested in this property but chose to not write an offer on it because they had already received five or six offers at the time. Uh, many above the asking price. And so I would not be surprised if this property sold for 20 to 30,000 over the asking price, maybe a waived inspection. And that difference here being this is an investment property. So, I mean, any duplex under 500,000 in the Spokane Valley is going to fly off the shelves, but many buyers now, especially with affordability being an issue, they are looking at duplexes. So especially this one, cause it had a vacant unit. And so they could move in, live in this one with a FHA loan, three and a half percent down, rent out the other one, to offset their mortgage cost, but still own a piece of real estate. Now, these two things can provide some conflicting information because that's not every property on the market. And so that's where we jump over to new construction to see kind of what's going on over there. And so checking out some of DR Horton, uh, they actually have an incentive going on right now where they will pay down your interest rate to five and a half percent. And like at the time of recording this video, interest rates are like 7.1 right now. So that's they're buying it down significantly uh, and saving you a lot of money on your monthly payment. Of course, this is for certain inventory that they're probably trying to move, like uh, things that are very close to completion that are not under contract yet. Um, and so there's going to be certain limitations, stipulations to getting this. But this is huge for a lot of home buyers right now, affordability wise. This, this will shave off. I mean, close to $800, $900 a month on your payment. So uh, they are offering some sub substantial buy downs right now. And then another hugely pop popular builder in Spokane, Hayden Homes, they're offering up to $25,000 on certain move-in ready homes, which would probably be somewhat equivalent to that interest rate buy down that DR Horton is offering. And so they're offering incentives of five to seven and a half percent of the purchase price to help you buy down an interest rate and get into a home so that they can get it off of their books. So this just goes to show why you should work with somebody local, somebody that is boots on the ground in the market selling homes on a regular basis, because if you're looking at getting new construction or building new construction, that's a totally different ball game than the people that are looking at investment properties. And so you need a strategy that's specific to you and specific to what you're looking for. And I would love to be that guy for you. You can find my information down in the description, or like I said, book that meeting directly on my calendar at the link down below. So then taking a look at Toll Brothers and one of the newer builders here in Spokane, a little bit more high-end luxury homes. They have been uh, sending out information They've recently had a red tag sale where they were uh, not necessarily cutting prices on properties, but offering 50% on certain home upgrades. And so that was, again, about a $30,000 value that they were offering. Plus, they're offering additional agent commissions for, for those properties, trying to incentivize us to bring buyers to them, all that kind of stuff. So many properties out there uh, sitting on the market and kind of jumping back just to see how this is directly affecting new construction. 
the active inventory for new construction is slowly increasing. So we saw a bottoming out in quarter one, quarter two of 2021, which is when builder confidence was super low just because the price of everything was so expensive to build. And so they slowed everything down. They couldn't find any labor, all that kind of stuff. And they were coming out of 2020 when they were just lucky enough to get things sold and off of their plates. Um, then as we saw interest rates starting to rise, the thing is, is that once builder confidence sets in, they have six to eight months before the properties are actually ready to sell. And so even though, so builders see interest rates come down a little bit or something like that, builder confidence goes up. Um, but then this is kind of a delayed reaction sometimes on inventory. So right now they are sitting at a pretty decent amount of inventory on the market, 334 in quarter four, which is similar, which is still below what it was in 2020, 2019. So you will start to see a lot more new construction options in Spokane. We are still not building nearly enough new construction homes, but hopefully we'll start to see more to help ease up on the inventory issue in the retail market. Um, but as we can see from this CNBC, article, home builder sentiment in February improved by the biggest amount in a decade. Um, home builder confidence in the market for newly built single family homes in February rose seven points to 42, which sounds like good news, but anything below 50 is considered negative. But they had seen a 31 point decline in December when interest rates were peaking. Builders think that affordability is improving as mortgage rates fall back from their highs of last fall and start to settle in a narrow range. The average rate on a popular 30 year fixed mortgage has had peaked at 7.4% last October, but now they're around 6%, uh, which is hilarious because like I said, builders uh, tend to lag the market. Interest rates right now are back up to 7%. And so what really matters out of all of this is that these daily news headlines don't really ref reflect what is happening here in the market. Again, that's why you should work with somebody that's boots on the ground, is seeing what's going on, is tracking the interest rates instead of you seeing a delayed news article. So if you're looking to relocate to Spokane or you're buying or selling and you already live here, please reach out to me. My information is down below. I'd love to help you out and make that happen for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.